Hey guys, Stamina here, and today I'm gonna to be going over how to default on the T side of Anubis in CS2. This video is actually an expansion of my first video I made of how to default on the T side of Mirage that I made in CSGO. I'm gonna be making sure that I continue this series on every other map, um, as, as well as making sure that I include all of the changes um, now that CS2 is a little bit different. On Anubis, nothing has really changed that much, but I kind of go over that in this video. Let me know what map you guys want to see next, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So I'm going to start with um, defaulting mid. Now there's a couple ways you can approach the mid default. Typically how teams are going to set up if they're going to default mid is they're going to have three people toward this part of the map um, so that they can work into any split they would like to. But there's a couple ways people are going to work it. Now the very beginning meta was going to be smoking towards house a lot. Okay, and then you would combo this with a door Molotov. Now, people would throw this utility as like the beginning utility and then they would try to wait, work their way up, but they would often be met with like smokes mid, um, CTs would like molly you back. They'd sometimes even commit two smokes to you mid. So what teams actually opted to start doing was throwing a double molly default. Now Cloud9 was one of the first teams that I really saw make this popular. Um, I remember FaZe Clan had like a similar default, but it was more of like a strat than it was a default. Um, but I know Cloud9 used this for a while. Electronic was really um, running this quite often toward the end of Go. And what it would be is it would be a double molly default. So you're gonna come to here and you're gonna aim on this part of the brick and you're gonna run through and this will Molotov house. Now, while one guy would throw that molly, another guy would quickly line up this Molotov. There's like a little smudge on the ground here. You're gonna go in the middle of that smudge like from the box to the smudge dead center, run a couple steps and jump throw. This is gonna Molotov door. Now, these two Molotovs offer a ton of opportunity for you because it's going to push them off of window and door at the same time. Now, if you get caught with any counter utility, like let's say the CTs Molotov you, you can now smoke that Molotov and you can kind of keep pressing the issue and kind of get up here in mid and be ready to continue your progression. Now, what Cloud9 and many other teams would use in conjunction with this is they would use some sort of like nade set like this, where a guy from like maybe outside of A would throw a smoke like this for left side mid. And then they would aim like on this line here on the window and run forward in Molotov camera. Now this combination would allow them to kind of progress through mid and control this entire area. Um, on top of that Molly smoke combination, you can have your guy from outside of A look for these little dots down here and you're gonna find this third dot and down from the dot, you're gonna kind of see a smudge here and kind of just go in the center of that and jump throw. And this will flash a little bit more to the left. This will flash off of the uh, double door and it'll allow your teammates who are defaulting through mid to not have to really worry about anybody in the middle of mid, whether they're kind of playing like an off angle like here or up here or back here, right? So now you've smoked the left side of mid, you've mollied camera and you've thrown a flash and you've progressed through mid. Now, while you're doing this, you typically have one guy looking to watch B main and kind of control this area of the map while another guy is outside of A. And typically this player's job is to make sure that nobody's pushed through A and also to kind of spot this canal push. Um, now you could alternatively do this with just two people mid or you could actually bring that B player toward mid so that you have one guy committed to E box slash canals and one guy outside of A main while three are working through mid. Now what's really, really unique about this default is it offers a lot of opportunity. Obviously you could split A with it, but you could also just drop through the windows very quickly and split B. So it offers a lot of opportunity uh, to the T side. And this is one of the reasons why um, so many people opt for this default because you can really kind of force your way into mid. And now even if they're smoking you mid, you could opt to throw the double mollies pretty early into the round, nade that smoke, Make sure nobody's peeking the angles. Okay, my nade didn't go deep enough. You guys kind of understand the concept here. And then you can kind of charge through. And again, you've mollied here and here. And um, it's pretty easy to kind of like force your way through mid in this scenario. So the next default I'm gonna go over is more of like the standard approach, more of like the loose approach to defaulting on Anubis. And how this is gonna work is you're gonna have one guy dedicated to watching the B push. This guy could be holding from down here and just kind of spotting. He could be in this corner, he could be up top here, he could be over here. There's a lot of different options, but he's just making sure that nobody pushes through main. And if somebody does push through main, he's communicating this and staying alive. You're gonna have another guy looking to work mid. Now this guy could be throwing the uh, smoke molly combo, right? And again, he's just making sure that nobody's pushing mid trying to kind of like fake some pressure in here. And what's what really nice about this actually is you could have this B player help you out and you could throw double mollies 
So you can fake that same mid default that we spoke about with one guy throwing a Molotov like this. And then your B guy could help you out and throw a Molotov like this. And I missed the Molotov, but I showed it in the previous round. So um, you could easily mask that double or that heavy mid default while you're not actually putting the majority of your players toward mid. Now, what the other players are doing is typically you're gonna send your opera toward canal. It used to be very meta to kind of post your opera from here. You can watch window, you can watch canal, but that's kind of gone away. What a lot of operas are opting to do is teams aren't really smoking e-box that much from spawn anymore. They're actually having their opera kind of post like this. Now, what happens is, is if the CT opera kind of like goes to post like this, if he extends out, you're gonna have the jump on them from this off angle here. And on top of that, if you're here and you wanted to kind of clear this angle, if you extend out and like left eye peek them, you're actually gonna see them first on this angle before they would see you because they're focused down here. So a lot of operas will kind of work this area, um, kind of look looking like this and they can swivel and like watch a main, they can flash a main for their AD filter, or they can flash into e box um, for their e box defaulter. Now, you're usually gonna have another rifler look to work e box and many teams are throwing this delayed e box smoke. Um, it'll land, <coughs> excuse me, on the inside of e box. And this is actually gonna offer kind of like a one way in here where you can kind of like creep in. Now what teams often do is they combine that smoke with a Molotov like this. You're gonna aim down from the smudge here and you're just gonna run forward. And this is gonna Molotov the left and the right corner of e box while you have a little lurk smoke in here and you're able to kind of like force your way in. Um, you could combine this with like maybe needing the smoke, having your teammate flash, you could flash through the smoke, whatever the case might be. Now, while this is all happening, you typically have one guy looking to control a main. Um, I don't recommend using more than like two smokes in your default. That's kind of like the rule of thumb on most maps, if you think about it. And if you're going to use like the e-box smoke, you maybe wouldn't throw the a main lurk smoke. But if you wanted to throw an a main lurk smoke from this corner here, you're going to look for this block and you're going to aim like kind of right here. Okay. And you're going to jump throw and this is going to smoke off. The entrance of a main i apologize i need to aim just a smidge lower it's like this this is going to smoke off the entrance of a main blocking any vision from the cts around here a site and whatnot now you can't throw the sky molotov anymore so a lot of defaulters will probably just opt to throw molly like this to kind of clear baskets out um but that will work just as well anyway so you're kind of controlling a main you're kind of pushing and trying to control e-box control, you still can put pressure on mid and you're watching B main. This allows you to kind of like swivel around the map really quickly. Now in this, if you had e-box control and this guy was able to kind of clear out like the pizza and pillar angle, this sets you up for a really easy B split. Um, alternatively, if you have a guy all the way in A main like this and he's not facing a lot of pressure um, by maybe throwing some fake utility toward B or even some fake utility toward mid, it's gonna pull players off of A and you can actually look to do like an A execute off of this. Now the last default, I guess I can say defaults that I'm gonna speak about are the extremity defaults. Every map is going to have um, an emphasis on the extremities. And there's a couple that have become pretty meta back and go and now moving into CS2, they've kind of remained. And um, both of them kind of set up your opper, um, but they also pull a lot of rotations and allow for your um, lurkers elsewhere to make a lot of opper, uh, look for um, openings and it creates a lot of opportunities. So this one is pretty simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look to throw this left side of sight smoke. And this is going to cut off any of the angles from temple, spawn, whatever. And it's gonna block a lot of their information. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna work your offer up here and you're actually gonna look to like flash off the angle. So there's a lot of different ways you could throw this flash. A really nice one that I've found is coming here, aiming down for this smudge and then looking for this line here and kind of aiming in the center. This flash will actually blind anybody that's opping um, this quad angle. It'll also blind them if they're opping like towards pillar here. And then obviously it'll blind like anybody peeking out of here or if anybody was pizza, it would also blind them as well. So this allows your opera to kind of like look for a pick. And often the CTs only want to have to smoke Evox. They don't actually want to have to use their smokes on B main. They would rather just be able to like jump spot it or have an opera post on it or whatever. And so by doing a default like this, you might bait out utility toward B main, which makes e box then weaker. Um, and it also makes you more susceptible to a B hit later in the round because you wouldn't have a smoke to put out this molly backside um, or a, you know, a molly toward pillar, whatever the case might be. 
Um, now, toward the opposite side of the map, and, and sorry, I didn't really explain this too much in depth, but when you're doing this with like three people toward here, you typically have your opper, another rifler on this area looking to kind of like maybe molly out pizza and kind of just like help like put pressure on the site and a guy supporting them. Then you're gonna have a guy looking towards mid and then your other player can either look to like crunch e-box and try to like help support this default or he could actually be working toward a main solo and this is something that like a lot of teams at the top level will do just because when you're putting that much pressure on b the cts are usually going to float into like a three one one three toward b one mid and one guy a so it gives a lot of room for this guy to kind of walk into a and look to find an opening maybe he mollies off like the platform here okay maybe he doesn't see anybody he can flash off this wall little self flash kind of look for a pick here and he can look to kind of walk out here and secure you an easy round win now the flip side of this is actually like a heavy a main default now teams have done this so many different ways you can use that smoke i showed before um to take control but another thing that some teams have really started doing and ends kind of made really popular was a very just aggressive a main take a lot of teams aren't using so many resources towards the opening of a main here right at the beginning of the round because they want to save it right for the mid to late round so um ends takes a advantage of this by kind of like sending guys in here really quickly you can do so by just like rushing down canal and kind of just like running into a main quickly um you can throw some pretty basic utility like a flash like this there's also a really nice pop flash that the support guy could throw by coming to this part of the wall aiming it from here to the height of the wood and it'll pop right over top blinding anybody maybe opping this angle or rifling in here toward basket um and it'll just really kind of push them back now when you're doing a default like this again it works in the exact same way you're getting that a player to maybe dump a smoke here when he would rather use it for here later in the round or maybe even to put out a molly later into the round right so by getting this utility out of them an a exactly late into the round is going to be really easy so that also makes it so that if you do an a fake late into the round they're usually going to bite on it because this guy playing a doesn't really have too many um ways of holding the bomb site right he can get smoked here mollied here you can smoke camera all this good stuff and so by putting this much pressure onto the a bomb site that can activate your mid lurker or it could even activate your b player to maybe look for a pick maybe you also opt to have a guy go toward e box while you're doing this and he looks to kind of like walk into the bomb site here anubis is all about push and pull um you're trying to manipulate the rotations and you're trying to find openings with your extremity lurkers based on the pressure that you're putting on different parts of the map hey guys thanks for watching um, i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know what you guys would like to see next i'm going to try to expand on this series and finish out how to default on t side of every map and then we'll probably work into ct side as well and um as the meta kind of shifts we'll make sure that we update these and continue to make some content for you guys so i appreciate all the support peace out